everyone, it's Sebastian Torres. Lately I've been experimenting with different upscaling methods for my anime videos. Now I'm finding that a lot of people are telling me that I need to stay within the latent space for as long as possible in my workflow. But in saying that, I've actually been testing out sending it into the pixel space, upscaling it that way, and then sending it back into the latent space for another case sampling round. Because I'm doing anime, I actually need it to be extremely tack sharp. I can't have blurred terminator lines. So the first thing I'll do is add a checkpoint loader. We'll go with the AAM XL anime mix. Uh, I'm getting some pretty good results with this one. And so what we'll need now is a K sampler. And we're actually going to need three K samplers, but we'll start with this one for now. Go one text encode, two text encode, and we'll make this one green for easy differentiating later on. Red, okay, perfect. And now we're gonna need a decoder. We'll send that into there. And we'll actually bring this one down because we're gonna need this one for a specific reason. So we'll connect these positive negatives and then we'll create an empty latent. Now with this one, let's just start with 1024 by 1024 because we're actually doing an SDXL. Beautiful. And we'll set the seed to four, leave it at fixed. I'm gonna start with 55. Go 4.5 because I'm not going to go too much into detail with the prompt. And let's start with this DPM plus plus 2M, and we'll go Karis. Leave it at one because obviously we're starting with a brand new image. And what I'm going to do is also create an NN latent upscale, and we'll set this to two. You can do this at 1.5 if you want, but the reason I'm doing it at 2 is because I'm actually going to upscale both of them by 2, so that way we end up seeing what it is, the best options that we have for both. Then we're going to send this one over to an upscaler using a model. And let's load our model. So we'll go with the first one. And I've got the 4x anime sharp. You can use whatever you want, but I find for anime this one actually works pretty well. And from here, we'll send this over to an upscale image by, and we'll set that to 0.5. That way we'll match the 2x that we're getting out of this one. And we'll need an encoder now. So we'll send this back into the latent space. Let's move this over here so it's a little bit easier to that's it, that works. Now we're gonna need the new K sampler, so we're gonna need two of these. So Control Shift V, that way we've got everything connected. And let's connect that one. Control Shift V down here, and we'll connect this one. And we're gonna change this to seed number five. And we'll go with 4.5 for this one, or 0.45, sorry and 30 we can reduce this a little bit because we don't need it to be as much detail and 0.45 for this one as well and now this one i'm going to go with 15 steps you can go a little bit higher if you want it just takes a little bit longer and i find that it's not really that necessary okay so we'll decode that decode and then we're going to need to bring over our vae now Okay, and now we're going to need a concatenate node. So, I don't even know what that word really means. It's kind of like a grouping. I'm going to group the images. This way we can actually see them by, side by side as opposed to two different nodes. It'd just be easier to see it this way. Okay, so now let's give it a prompt. And I'm going to stay very simple with this. We'll go with anime, girl, and since this is for YouTube, we'll go with nude, nudity, breasts, and keep it nice and clean. 
Okay, so we'll stay very simple like this and let's click Q prompt. And just before I do that, I just remembered I have to connect this VAE as well. And let's do that. Now, it'll take a moment to first load everything, but since we're going with SDXL, it's pretty quick. And you'll see that it'll actually go through this version first, and then it'll go through this one. Now, what you can also do is with this one, you can actually create a save node so you can save them independently. So we'll do that. That way with the next one, we'll see that it'll actually save them independently and also the joint version as well, which can come in handy. And I'll just speed through the actual rendering process because it's going to take a while. Here we go. Now, the other good thing is because we haven't changed anything else, we've only added these new saves. We can actually just click that again and it'll save them separately. But let's go here and we'll see the first one. As you can see, you probably can't see it. I'm going to try and put this in post, but you can actually, this is the best way to tell. You can see in the background how soft it actually is, whereas upscaling it in the image space gives you a much sharper image. Pretty sure you'd be able to see that. Uh, yeah, it's it's a completely, like, I mean, you have some segments where it's perfect because it's flat skin tone. Obviously with the eye, you had too much detail here, so it just created a whole bunch of mixed uh, colors. Um, but all in all, you get such a good result going through the image space as opposed to staying in the latent space. Now, there's probably better ways to do it in the latent space. Um, from what I've seen, this is pretty much the easiest way to go through it, but I'm getting much better results, as you can see, going through the image space as opposed to staying in the latent space. What do you guys think? Which one do you prefer? Do you prefer staying with the latent space or do you prefer going to image and then back into the latent space? Personally, I'm finding I'm getting much better results using the image and going back into the latent space afterwards it tends to come out a lot sharper, which is great because what I'm trying to do is an actual anime look and having a soft edge on these Terminator lines definitely is not what you want. You want that really crisp sort of finish. And yeah, that's what I'm getting with these. So yeah, if you wanted to use that, that's the best way to go about it that I've seen. Remember to check out my Patreon. I've got quite a few tutorials on there that don't make it onto YouTube. And some of the ones that I've got on YouTube are actually extended on Patreon. And then that way you learn a lot more as well. Let me know in the comments down below what you think about this method. Click like and subscribe and check out this next video.